so welcome back to this channel once again and uh, uh, in this video tutorial i will be covering nested data structure in rpgle so uh, earlier we discussed about the data structure in rpg where we created the uh, formats of data structure where a uh, ds is having multiple sub fields and we saw the demo of th those things now here in this case we will be seeing that how we can nested a uh, data structure inside another data structure so we have two different way to do this so i have created two programs to show the same here so first firstly i'll i'll be showing you the previous way earlier way that how we will be doing that in rpgle so let's open this example so here you can see there are two data structure ds1 and ds2 and both are qualified and here we can see ds1 has a field student id student password of tag and character respectively and ds2 is having the first sub field which is from the ds1 so basically ds1 is the nested data structure inside the ds2 and ds2 itself has another sub fields student key and student name of five characters and 20 characters so here how we achieve that we will be using the ds1 inside ds2 DS1, ds1 is a data structure and we define that using the like ds ds1 so this is the old approach of uh, achieving the nested data structure concept in rpgle now here we can see how we will be evaluating the sub fields of those ds so for ds1 student id and ds1 student password i am directly using the qualified ds1 because these are the sub fields of ds1 so ds1 dot student id equals to 1 ds1 dot s2 password equals to password 1 and now i am displaying ds1 after that for evaluating ds2 because ds2 is this is basically a definition so we need to declare uh, we need to define or we need to we can say we need to evaluate these sub fields is to id and is to password which is of uh, which is under ds2 but are referring from ds1 so how we will be doing that ds2 dot ds1 dot is to id and ds2 dot is to ds1 dot is to password so because is to id and is to password are from ds1 okay so the qualifying behavior would be ds2 dot ds1 okay and for this one is to i is to key and is to name we will be directly using ds2 dot is to key and ds2 dot is to name and then we are displaying displaying ds2 so this is the old approach of doing this so let me quickly compile this with debug v star source let me debug this call rpgle 15 so if i look at ds1 this is not initialized yet and ds2 this is also not initialized but if i saw or if i see the structure or the format of the ds1 it is having two fields but ds2 is having ds2 dot ds1 dot s2 id this one ds2 dot ds1 dot s2 password because these ds1 is coming this these fields are coming from this ds ds1 so they are under ds2 so they are qualifying with ds2 dot ds1 okay and then ds2 dot s2 key and ds2 dot s2 name the same way i did the evaluation as you can see now if i see the values it's one and password one but if i see the value in ds2 it's still not initialized 
yeah that's correct now it will have values after this evaluation so ds2 will be having two password two keys and name two so this way we can nested a data structure uh, inside another data structure using the old way that is a like ds concept okay now we have another way uh, to do the same thing so here i am going to using the totally free format so basically i am declaring the the ds2 inside the ds1 so i am not qualifying ds2 here because this is automatically qualified with the ds1 because the dcl ds ds1 is qualified so ds2 is nested inside ds1 it would be or it will be automatically qualified so ds1 is having two fields is to id is to password of packed 5 and character 15 the same way which i did in rpg early 15 if i open that as well you can match these fields here from here and ds2 was a separate ds here in case of rpg early 15 where we use the old approach of uh, like ds concept but here I am not using that, I am using the new approach. So here I am directly defining DCL DS2, DS2, DCL DS, DS2, and this will be having S2 key and name. Okay. So here the difference is the DS1 is inside the DS2, but here DS2 is inside the DS1. So don't get confused with that. So DS2 is nested inside DS1. And in case of RPG 15, that example where DS1 is nested inside DS2, right? So this is having is to key and name, and this is the end DS of the DS2. We can also write the name of this DS and DS space that the DS2, and here also that is an optional. But if I look at this structure, it would automatically say the first oh, end of ds would be this the inner one then the outer one so now i can see how i would have uh, or i have evaluated those subfields of ds1 and ds2 so ds1 dot s2 id equals to one ds1 dot s2 password equals to password display ds1 then ds1 dot ds2 dot s2 key okay and ds1.ds2.name because this ds2 is nested inside ds1 and oh, ds2 and ds1 both are qualified ds2 is auto qualified because it is present inside or it is nested inside ds1 so uh, finally i am displaying ds1.ds2 so if i would have to see the value of ds2 what i would be doing i would be displaying ds1.ds2 because ds2 is uh, nested inside ds1 so i would have to qualify that as well like i i qualified the sub fields of ds2 okay so let's save this and compile this with star source program was compiled now let's debug this call rpg 16 ds1 is not initialized yet and ds1 is having the s2 id and password and also it has ds2 subfields so ds2 has subfields s2 key and s2 name so ds2 is a nested data section inside ds1 so it is qualified with ds1 if I uh, look at ds2 still not present so now I would see the value that's correct the correct evaluation happens now ds1 dot ds2 dot s2 key so if I was doing eval ds2 I want I was not able to see the value of ds2 because this is nested inside ds1 so if i have to see the value of ds1 ds2 
I have to qualify that with DS1. Okay. Now I have validated DS1 dot DS2 dot S2 key, so I can see uh, this has first sub field is populated. The second one is still not populated. Now I would see that it is now populated. So once I do evaluation at if I display this TS1 so I can see all the sub fields are populated now. So this way uh, you can code the nested data section. This is the newer approach and uh, if you want to follow or if you want to use the older approach that is a like DS concept. So you have to use the like DS while declaring any uh, DS inside another DS. So that's the concept of the nested DS. Uh, thank you and have a nice time.